Let's take a real quick look at how Microsoft Project formats our printouts. Here I have a project with a number of tasks, tasks A through I. You notice that some of these tasks have an extremely long duration. Now if I want to print this out so that I can communicate this information to my stakeholders, I go up here to File and Print. And you'll see that this printout is now going to be 16 pages long. If I scroll through it, there's just too much information here. okay, Or maybe too little information, depending on how you look at it. But 16 pages of a Gantt chart printout is really not going to be useful at all. So what we want to do is we want to change the scale of this so it fits on one page. Now, what some people will try to do is they will know that under Page Setup, they can change it so that Microsoft will actually squish this down to one page before sending it to the printer. Let's look and see what happens if we try that. So we're going to fit it to one page wide by one page tall. Well, what happens is it actually uses the same scale, looking at things on a daily basis in our Gantt chart, but just squishes it down so it's totally unreadable. So this is not the way that we want to do this. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to reset this to reverse that change. So what we really want to do is we really want to uh, go into Microsoft Project and change the scale of our Gantt chart so that we can actually get this down to one or two pages. So to do that, I'm going to go over here to View. And under View, I can choose the time scale. So I can choose days, weeks, thirds of months, months, quarters, half years, or years. So you can uh, choose what time scale you want to view your Gantt chart in. Now another way that you can do this is you can actually use the zoom in and zoom out functions here. I also like to I uh, have a little scroll wheel on my mouse so I can just simply hold down the shift key and you notice that I can scroll in or zoom in rather by using the scroll wheel on my mouse. I tend to like to use that. It, it uh, is a quick and easy way for me to change my uh, view, but you can certainly come up here and change it uh, through the uh, time scale. So let's look at what it looks like when we actually go to print this now. So in this case, I now have a time scale that is going to fit on one page. And it's going to be one page, it's actually going to be viewable. I can actually read what this time scale is, and I can read what my tasks are. Okay, so that's the way that we want to uh, format our projects when we go to print out. Uh, and we want to print out uh, a fairly large project, but we want it to be in a concise printout where everybody can read it. We're simply going to go to view and we're going to alter the time scale.